as a guru person we are more informed than the regular person last year november getting to december we are informed and by informed i mean unofficially we are informed by our friends in government and the passport office and the foreign affairs and whoever that the government is one out of the 32 pages and that if anybody needs his book in a short time which is within the three days one week and two weeks we were to uh, switch to the 48 page so most of us started switching way earlier so when we go to early january we were officially informed by the government through a communique that they are found out of the 32 pages if i'm talking too fast please for bear with me i have to go and work and so we should switch officially to the 48 mainly because previously it was an option now it's not an option anymore we should switch to the 48 mainly now the issue started arising when people who had already booked the 32 came to the passport office and heard the news that they plan uh, their passport they applied ahead of time to get it in a sort of time frame and now they are being told that we, they don't know when they are going to get the 32 so most of them even though they have paid the passport abandoned it and bought a new form and so uh, there was a lot of double registration in the system and so those people who had captured earlier and wanted it on time most of them came back to also apply again so they had the 32 already in the system being processed and they were now applying for the 48 also again in the system fortunately or unfortunately the 42 came early and the 32 is in the system so the person for all intent and purposes has received the passport they wanted and most of them are out of the country and now they are the other two is being printed again the system could not filter and say this guy has gotten his passport so let's either suspend it hold it until such a time as the booths are available they are just doing the double printing for somebody who has already received the passport and so the double registration is, is also creating another problem in the system so some i have clients who applied in october they haven't received them their books and they come already and say oh the books are dead the books are dead we know the books are not there the issue why the books are not there we know it is because of mistakes that are being done both at the passport office and both in the printing room so uh, obviously this gentleman talking self-identifies as a guru boy <laughs> we, that that is a whole discussion for uh, uh, <laughs> all right so what began as uh, one message i got from a listener this morning and let me just read the message again I'm going to be talking to the director of passports, but this is the message I got this morning. It says, Bernard, good morning. Something is going on at the passport office, which is reversing all the gains made with the automation of public services. The staff claim that the office has run out of passport booklets, yet the very staff are unofficially charging between 400 and 700 cities per booklet to print for people who are willing to pay. I've attached my boy's slip as reference. He completed the online process, including his biometrics in January this year. But as I type this piece, He's yet to receive his passport. It seems people are sabotaging the system for their personal and selfish interest. Could you use your platform to follow up on this? So this is the message I read. And I said, got inundated with all kinds of messages of people sharing similar stories. So Mr. Obing is the director of passports. My response as director of passport is that passport office is not charging any extra money to print booklets or books for applicants. Indeed, with the online system that we have, password office doesn't take money. We don't take money in our offices. Every payment is done online. So if there's somebody who pays money to, you know, an officer who claims he's a password office staff, please, that is illegal. Sir, but, okay, two things. How come this person, this slim man that we met, could go inside and and say that he has an emergency without showing that he's even related to me. And yet, me, the person who applied, when I officially went for my passport, your officer wrote on a piece of paper that I will, he, 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 in fact, my date of collection has to change. And he cannot tell me when I'll get my passport. But somebody standing at the gate took my 200 CDs, went inside, and all of a sudden, he has, by some magical powers, managed to get my passport the next day. Are you telling me that your officials don't know people they work with. I mean, this is, this is strange that a person who has an agreement with the passport office has been given a slip that he should, he, 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 we, won't, we don't know when you get your passport. He gives 200 cities to somebody standing at the passport office area. That person goes inside and in two days, the person is able to negotiate and say, this guy who is standing at the gate is my relative. He has an emergency, so give him the passport the next day. And he's able to get a passport. I mean, seriously? Bella, Bella, let me explain to you. There is no way, and I want to, I want this person to, 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 to come and show me the evidence that he came to passport office and was given a new collection date. It's not 
that's what I'm going to do. Don't want to give a new collection date. The collection date that is given to you when you do the data capture is the same date that you have. So where in our office... No, he didn't say... Uh-huh, okay, go on. And then he was giving a new collection date. And then when he came out, he saw another person who said, look, let me go in and get you your passport. And then this person went in there and brought the passport to him. To I want to listen to these people because, look, these are uh, allegations of allegations. You call these people to come and substantiate, and they will not be able to substantiate. And I tell the person who here took that money from you and brought that passport to you. The person will not be able to substantiate that. So we are talking on radio, and we are discussing these allegations. But look, let me call that person and say, look, come, because we are prepared to set examples. We are prepared to prosecute people. I will send you, respectfully, with your permission, all the comments I've received because I want you to see the level of frustration. It's also feedback. So, with your permission, I'm going to um, forward all the messages to you and the voice notes as well. You can get your team to listen and transcribe and decide how you want to go about it. But I'm sure if you want to respond more officially based on the evidence, because I couldn't play all on air, I'll be happy to host you again to respond to some of the issues that may have been raised in those that I have not put on air. But I want to thank you for your time, Mr. Obing.